Hi, welcome back to A Farmstead Journey, where I share with you my experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly, of establishing a hobby farm while learning the tricks of the trade as I go. Today, we are tackling a topic that has concerned me since I first started keeping chickens, and that's the poultry industry's traditional method of culling male chicks as soon as they enter the world, and in such a brutal manner. But there is good news. I recently read where science and technology has found a promising alternative to this unpopular practice of culling hundreds of thousands of baby chickens. It's called in ovo sexing, and it's a technological game changer that's transforming the way hatcheries operate. In ovo sexing is a method used to determine the sex of a chick while it's still inside the egg. The thought of that is just mind blowing, but why is this even necessary? Well, in the egg industry, obviously only female chickens are needed for laying eggs. Male chicks, unfortunately, are not useful for laying eggs and are often culled shortly after hatching. This practice has raised significant ethical concerns worldwide. In ovo sexing offers a humane alternative by identifying the sex of the chick early, before it hatches, eliminating the need for culling altogether. But how does it work? Let's dive into the science of it all. In ovo sexing is typically performed between days three and nine of incubation. At this stage, the embryo is developed enough to allow sex determination. Several methods are used for this, each with its own advantages. Here are the most common ones. First, we have spectroscopy. This technique uses light to analyze the contents of the egg. By shining a laser or infrared light, we can detect chemical markers like hormones or proteins that indicate the sex of the embryo. Second is hormonal analysis. This involves extracting a tiny amount of fluid from the egg to measure sex-specific hormones, such as estradiol. Third is genetic testing. Scientists look for DNA markers unique to male or female embryos. This method is highly accurate but also the most time consuming. The commonality in all three methods is that they are all non-invasive and incredibly efficient, especially in large scale operations. In fact, some systems can process thousands of eggs per hour. Imagine the difference this makes in terms of resources, labor and animal welfare. Why does inovo sexing matter? The most obvious reason is ethics. By preventing the hatching of male chicks that would otherwise be culled, this technology is a significant step toward more humane farming practices. But it's not just about ethics, it's also about sustainability. And these eggs don't go to waste. They can be repurposed for vaccines, feed, or other uses. It's a win-win situation for farmers, animals, and consumers alike. Germany and France are two countries that have led the charge by implementing regulations that mandate humane alternatives to male chick culling. For example, companies like Select and Exite are developing commercial systems that make in ovo sexing accessible to large scale and even mid sized hatcheries. The great news is that at least three states in the United States, Iowa, Texas, and California, are already using what has been named a chegging machine, which uses advanced invo sexing technology to determine the sex of a chick embryo. But more on that and how it works later. So stick around for that because it's incredible. But I digress. Back to what I was saying about the U.S. Just to show how new this chegging machine is, Nest Fresh Eggs a California-based specialty egg producer, celebrated the first hatch of in ovo sex chicks in the United States in December 2024. They plan to transition their entire egg line to this new process with certified eggs from these hens expected to be available in retail by mid-2025, which is sometime in July. 
These eggs will be distributed to retailers including Albertsons, Harris Teeter, Whole Foods Market, Publix, and HEB. Nest Fresh intends to promote this chick-friendly process on their cartons and through a larger marketing effort as the launch date approaches. So keep an eye out for them in your local supermarket. And now for you science and tech gurus, here's how the Cheggy machine works. Eggs are placed into the Cheggy machine, which processes them at a remarkable speed of up to 25,000 eggs per hour, making it suitable for large-scale hatcheries. The machine creates a tiny, precise hole in the eggshell. The hole is necessary to access a sample from inside the egg without harming the developing embryo. A small amount of fluid, such as amniotic fluid or allotoic fluid, is extracted through the perforation. The Cheggy system analyzes the fluid sample for specific biomarkers, such as hormones or other chemical indicators that distinguish between male and female embryos. Based on the analysis, the eggs are sorted into male and female categories. Male eggs can then be removed from the incubation process potentially repurposed for other uses, such as vaccine production or feed. This process is efficient and non-invasive, ensuring the developing embryos are unharmed during testing. However, it currently works only on brown eggs as the technology relies on biomarkers that are more easily differentiated in embryos developing in brown eggshells. Further advancements are expected to expand the system's capabilities to include white eggs in the near future. Looking ahead, inovo sexing is poised to become a standard practice worldwide. As consumer awareness increases and regulations tighten, this technology will play a crucial role in making poultry farming more ethical, sustainable, and efficient. I myself find this very encouraging and look forward to seeing this amazing technological advancement continue to spread throughout the world. Well, thanks for joining me today to learn about this incredible innovation. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into sustainable farming and animal care, as well as developing a hobby farm from scratch. Have questions or thoughts about inovo sexing? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care and keep farming responsibly.